I chose textiles because I really like creative subjects and I like the idea of being able to design my own products and then make them. With GCSE you do a lot more theory and you learn about the different kind of like techniques and the ways that you can create something. It's like a good way to be able to design your own products and be creative in ways that you can't in other subjects. I chose food because I think it's interesting and I like learning about new dishes and tasting new things. We do a lot of theory stuff and a lot of writing and that's really interesting because it does get a bit boring just cooking all the time. It's actually really interesting learning about all the healthy bits and everything. I'd recommend it to anyone who likes food because when like, you leave school to go to university you can um, learn how to cook different range of dishes and it just it's really interesting. I chose business just because I, I, like, I really wanted to learn about like the outside world and how a business is run and how you advertise things. And, but I just thought it'd be like how to run like how to run your own business but it's more than that like you don't just learn about your own business you can go into like things like franchising. When taking the course I didn't expect it to be as in-depth as it was, but um, the good thing about 100 minute lessons and 200 minute lessons is that you can learn the sort of basics of it and then expand on it. Um, the lessons involve uh, discussing mostly and theory, but we also do some practical, so like we write the music and we um, make up all the songs and we discuss all the techniques involved. I didn't really expect to learn all the theory because there's a lot involved but it's so clever because we again can incorporate that into our music and help us to develop it in a way to get the best grades possible. I chose history so I could learn about the past and how we got into the world we we're in today. Well doing it as a GCSE you get three units and a controlled assessment and the first unit is based on uh, medicine for a time, the second unit is based on the American West and the third unit is surgery and the controlled assessment is based around World War II and how Hitler controlled Germany so it's kind of different to what we did throughout the years of doing history before GCSE. The uh, difference in Key Stage 3, uh, we didn't do coursework and the subjects I found um, less interesting than what they are in uh, GCSE, I find them more interested and more to learn about and also I like the idea of uh, uh, coursework I would recommend it to people because you can find out a lot about how we got to where we are today and who was in the past and how they helped improve. If you don't know what religious studies is, it's just you're learning about other people. You learn about like Muslims and you learn about, Jew about Jewish people and you learn about Christians and you learn about all these people that you probably don't even know of. And it's just so amazing that you get so passionate about it. I took RE because I believe that it's a very important life skill to be able to understand other people's cultures, views and religions in general. You definitely don't have to follow a religion to take religious studies. You could be an atheist, you could be agnostic, you could follow any type of religion and still understand what you're talking about and what you're learning about. I expected RE to be mostly writing, um, but I was pretty wrong when it's a lot of discussion and a lot of talking about your own opinion and it's so exciting to see what other people think about the world. Uh, I love drama because it allows you to express yourself in so many different ways. Well the course entails two units, unit one and unit two. Unit one is a devised drama where you make up for given, by giving a stimulus whereas unit two you have to do a script work where you work from a script and you have to stay by the script rules. I thought there was gonna, it was going to be um, mainly practical, but you do a lot of theory, which doesn't seem like the best thing to do, but it really like develops your ideas and allows you to um, think of more things to do when performing your piece. The lessons are really fun and we learn about two to three different things a week and we put it all to, into an end of like term exam. When I chose geography, I didn't expect to learn as many social things because we learn about how people affect the world when we didn't do a lot of that in year 7 and year 8 so that's really different and that's really fun I recommend it to anyone who really enjoyed taking geography in year 7 and year 8 um, as you can really extend your learning about the world around us